Hello everybody, Jaguar Jones here from the new channel, Leopard Jones. The Jaguar Jones channel has been suspended until November 2nd of this year because apparently someone took offense to the latest video called Shock of God, Here's Your Answer. In keeping with YouTube's policy about revealing as little information as possible, I was not privy to the name of the person who flagged the video or why it was flagged. My guess is that it had something to do with the clip from Naigo Kwatasaki. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, so if anyone knows how to say it right, please post a response to this video. I chose a clip from that movie because it's a visual that I have always really liked. It starts out with a little science, morphs into some MRI-like images of the human body, and concludes with the camera pulling back to reveal a group of infants lying on their backs, gazing up at the new world around them. I am guessing what offended my flagger was the fact that all the infants were completely unclothed. Now, I'm sure lots of people out here in cyberspace are going to jump all over this and call me a pedophile and accuse me of posting child pornography, but I would encourage the rational and objective thinker to take a look at Naga Quata Quintus, uh, what the hell ever, for yourselves and determine my true level of depravity. This is the second strike against the Jaguar Jones channel in six months. The first came from a video that I mirrored for DPR Jones, which showed a painting on an uncovered breast. Oh, the shame. It seems that we are more than happy to watch images of torture, violence, accidents, and horrific death, but the uncovered human body? Well, that's just taking things too far. Furthermore, if you run a few searches, you can see gynecological examinations, prostate examinations, and people in states of undress that would definitely rival the group of nude infants that I posted. All of this is freely available to anyone who can lie about their birth date. I don't know who flagged my video, and truth be told, I really don't know why, and it really doesn't matter. I wanted to make sure that the message in the video got to Shock of God, so here is the flagged video with the offending content removed. Dear Shock of God, I respectively request that you watch this video until the end. I listened to the conversation between you and Dark the Atheist that was posted on the Rational Skeptic channel. You really seem to want an answer to the question, provide proof and evidence that atheism is correct. First of all, the way that you're phrasing this leaves you wide open to getting a taste of your own medicine. We need to establish some definitions first. An atheist is one who lacks belief in one or more gods. In all honesty, I don't know much about you, but I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video that you are a Christian and subscribe to some version of Protestantism. For all I know, you could be a Catholic, Muslim, Jew, or Raelian. It's actually, for our purposes here, completely irrelevant. So, assuming that you subscribe to a Judean monotheistic theology, I would think it would be safe for me to assume that you do not believe in Ra, Barama, Dai Kang, Vulcan, Shiva, or Odin. So, with respect to Osiris and the countless other gods that have been worshipped throughout the course of human history, you are an atheist. I just happen to believe in one less god than you. So being the language and grammar Nazi that I am, allow me to rephrase your question in the manner that I think you wanted it. Do you have evidence or proof that God does not exist? If this is not the question that you were intending to ask, please contact me via private message and I'll revise my response. Now I don't speak for anyone other than myself, but here is my answer and please just hear me out. Let's suppose that next year you were appointed the director of a new international consortium whose sole purpose is to find evidence for the existence of gum skewer bats. The first year you were given 100 researchers and a budget of one billion dollars. Those numbers are increased by 10 percent every year for the next 1,000 years until the only pursuit of the human race is to uncover evidence for the existence of gum skewer bats. In fact, for the last 100 years of your project, the only employer on Earth is the agency that you first directed. After 1,000 years of research, the absolute best statement that could be made is this. There is no evidence that gum skewer bats exist. However, this fact is not proof that gum skewer bats do not exist. In fact, it's not even evidence that gum skewer bats don't exist. 
It only means that thus far, no evidence has been found that would lead anyone to believe that Gomskewer bats do, in fact, exist. The same thing can be said about the existence of God. Thus far, no evidence has been presented to or uncovered by me that would lead me to believe that one or more gods do, in fact, exist. Since, by implication, it is the theist, that's you, shock of God, is making a positive claim, that of God existing, it is incumbent on the theist to provide positive evidence of your claim. Just like in a court of law where, in the United States at least, we have the presumption of innocence. No one has to prove that they didn't commit the crime they are being accused of, but rather the accuser has to prove they did. After all, we don't want to lock someone up and throw away the key without a compelling body of evidence that leads any reasonable person to conclude that, that someone did commit the crime they are accused of. So, now the money shot. I have no evidence that God does not exist. How exactly would God leave evidence of his non-existence behind for me to find? By the same token, I have no evidence that there is a colony of underwear mining gnomes on Saturn. That doesn't mean they aren't there, it just means there are no evidence, there's no evidence for them. Furthermore, I would find an insistence that there are underwear mining gnomes on Saturn, well, irrational. So if you would, indeed, like to have an honest and civil debate with someone who lacks a belief in God, I would be more than happy to oblige you. In fact, I think there are more than a few out here in cyberspace that would oblige you, and none of them really need my help. You know, Dark the Atheist might be a good place to start.